everyone ios 17.2 has just officially came out so let's go and take a look at it on the iphone 12 and see if it's worth installing now the first thing i'll definitely tell you is this was a pretty big update i have installed the rc version but keep in mind that this update also comes out in you know the official version is not going to be as big so 6.18 gigabytes on the rc but keep in mind that it's going to be much smaller if you're coming from the official 17.1.2 or 17.1.1 now, this update, as you can see from the release log, brings a lot of stuff, including the journal application, some security you know, fixes, some camera improvements, action button improvements, so many things across the board. So to start off, that journal application is actually a really cool one. I love having these types of journal apps you know, kind of laying around, and I journal a lot. I take lots of notes, so I love having a dedicated application now, which can actually give me this type of capability because it's actually a super cool thing that Apple has given us the type of capability of having as a dedicated journal app. Now, I have a video on my second channel that just basically breaks down exactly how to use it, so I won't go into like crazy amounts of details right now, but it's a cool app. I've used it. I have a video on it, and you can check it out from there if you actually want to kind of see how this thing specifically works. Now, there's also some new improvements in some other areas. Messages got some cool improvements. So within iMessage, you basically now have the ability for one, to have like a catch up arrow. So now if you are, you know, if there's new messages coming down at the bottom, you basically, if it's like a live group chat or whatever, you can see a little arrow that pops up on the side that you can click on it if you actually wanna just jump down. It's super cool. There's new sticker options. Memoji also got a little bit of an update. And there's new some security measures and things that Apple has added, which they always add, which is so cool. So I'm a fan of it. I'm glad that they went down this direction and it seems like they're actually improving iMessage quite a bit, which is super cool to see. Now Siri got a little bit of an improvement as it always does. AirDrop got a pretty big update. Whereas now if you actually want to AirDrop, you know, boarding passes, tickets, you know, other things like that to other devices, you can just bring two iPhones together and you can share those things out, which is actually a super cool thing to have. There's a new digital clock widget as well, which is also super cool to have. So you can click the edit button down here and you can basically add in a little bit of a you know digital clock widget which is new and that's another cool thing that they added you can also and it's added in standby mode as well you also have new keyboard layouts there's faster wireless charging for the iphone 13 and 14 the 12 unfortunately didn't have it but there was a fix for wireless charging if for some reason your iphone was not wireless charging for some you know reasons that has now been fixed as well so overall ios 17.2 is looking to be a very good update I would 100% recommend installing it as well if you already have an iPhone 12 and if it's already on iOS 17, I'd recommend installing it for sure. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.